are the artistic directors for Maywood Fine Arts. I am Heidi Renteria. And I'm Tiana Shern. And today we thought we would talk a little bit about classical ballet for new audiences. Classical ballet for new audiences began in 2007 with Sleeping Beauty. We wanted to introduce the stories, the music, and actually the dances. There's so many classical dance steps and dance moves to each one of the ballets. We began at the old stairway building, and it was just meant to be a leotard and tight dance performance. And by year four, we moved it to Proviso East, the stage, and that was the year we did Don Q, or Don Quixote. Last year, we were in full rehearsal, week of the show, and we got shut down, canceled due to COVID. As we progressed through the ballets, at the end of 10 performance, 10 years of ballets, we thought, wow, let's start again. Because guess what? When you were six or seven in Sleeping Beauty or in Swan Lake, your first ballet, in 10 years, ideally, you would be 16 or 17. And you would go from that little mouse to Cinderella, to the Diamond Girl. You never got to play the mouse, did you? I never got to play the mouse. <laughs> straight to the diamonds. Oh, straight to the diamonds. I love that. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty was our first show that we brought in all of District 89. That's the Maywood students. The next year, we did Swan Lake, and guess what? Not only did we bring in all of District 89, we had to do a second show for all of the Austin and CPS schools. This year, because we couldn't have our field trip from District 89, we have Zoomed 46 classrooms from District 89 to bring the live adventure of Lake Corsair, the Pirate Ballet, to them. Here's the things that we really believe work. Knowing the music, our dancers will leave here knowing every single piece of music to the ballet. My best example is little tiny Hikari. I think she's seven or eight. She might have had a birthday on me. And she was dancing the role of the Pasha's daughter. The very next song that came on was the Arabian Princess. And she stopped dead in her tracks and she said, wait, that's my music. And we went, we have done our job. Our dancers have a responsibility to the bigger community, to reach forward, to help somebody else that maybe isn't so lucky dancing here. I tell my kids, they're the privileged ones. Always, always, always. And let's share that. Let's share those feelings that Maywood Fine Arts gets to bring to each other and to the greater community. My name is Manuel Ramirez. I'm from Mexico. My name is Justin O'Brien. My name is Olivia Renteria. Hi, my name is Vivi. My name is Chase Buntra. And we are Pasha's Fine Daughters. Uh, my character is the uh, is one of the uh, principal pirates. So uh, his name is uh, Conrad. Um, I play Ali, um, and he is the faithful servant to our hero, Conrad. I'm playing the role of Lake Kingdom, and I'm the villain of the ballet, and I'm working with the Pasha in order to make some money. So I play the character Medora, and Medora, she meets another beautiful woman named Gulner, and they become really good friends. And together they help 
get free of the Pasha and free the other girls as well. My most excited about this ballet is once I be a grown up, once I be a grown up and when I'm ready to be in point shoes, I will be the best dancer and I know I will be. The costumes, being on stage. Um, that we can have fun. and I love working with everybody and I love being able to teach these kids as well during this ballet. My favorite part about being a guest artist um, is being able to work with younger dancers um, to, to help them see the story come together. Um, a lot of times we're all rehearsing our own little dances um, and so it can be easy, especially for younger students, to not really see the full arc of the story. And so I love when you see their faces seeing the entire ballet for the first time. This is working with dancers and people who I typically wouldn't be able to work with, especially right now. It's been really great to enter a community that I would have not before. You know, I think it's like, a, uh, actually this is my first uh, time that I do as an artist, as a guest artist or dancing with the students. Uh, because uh, before I was more, uh, behind the scene and I think uh, it's really important because I think I can share the, the stage with my students and it's really nice idea because they can see and also with the other I guess artists they can realize like how professional dancers they can move on stage and they can learn and it's kind of really nice to be on stage with them with the students. I came into the studio because I felt the need to be surrounded by the beautiful energy that's here between the students, the faculty, um, the other guest artists we work with. It is really um, a light, especially in these dark times, um, but other than that, always um, the people. Um, when I went to medical school, I knew that I still wanted to be active in teaching ballet and, um, and, and active in the arts. And I found out that my school had a partnership with Maywood Fine Arts. And when I saw the mission of Maywood Fine Arts, the energy of the staff and the students here, um, I just knew I had to be part of it. And um, I love that Maywood Fine Arts um, brings such a passion and that they instill in all of their students um, a love for the arts, which is really a gift that lasts for a lifetime. Rehearsing for the ballet, it's very fun because you um, get to be with your friends or just like with other dancers and you learn new things because you watch the other dancers dance. The filming, like the filming process, everything, like it's just nice in the costumes. They're really, really pretty and just the whole outcome, I know it's going to be really, really nice. Oh, it's been pretty tiring to rehearse in this there's a lot of cardio with this pirate dance here. And a lot of leaps, a lot of turns, a lot of high energy movement. So it's been a lot of work, but it's fun. Rehearsing for the ballet is extremely fun because we get to learn new words and new ballet steps. It's very stressful because everything with ballet is all ballet. It's not like our other shows like June shows we have tap and ballet and jazz. This is just strictly ballet, so it's very strict with rehearsing and it's very hard with mass because we do a lot of leaps and turns and stuff and you can't like breathe. My favorite part about performing is being on the stage with all my friends and having people enjoy watching us dance. I'm also very excited about this ballet because my sister is wearing the same costume that I wore 10 years ago. I'm most excited about my senior solo in this ballet. I've been waiting for this moment ever since I was four. My favorite part of performing the ballet is probably being with my friends all the time. 
I'm looking forward to dancing with my friends and, well, having fun, because it is fun. My favorite ballet memory is my best friend, Liliana, and I had to pull someone across the stage as horses. Um, my favorite ballet we've done was Swan Lake because it was my first one and so it was like a new feeling and everyone was just so nice obviously because it was my first show so just being in a new environment was really fun. My favorite show was Esmeralda because it was very cute to me and I loved our costumes and the dance we had was very fun and very light and easy. I don't know what my favorite ballet is. I just, every show is my favorite. It's so different every year. Um, I think it's the getting to pretend to be someone else. Um, get to show parts of myself that I don't, that I'm not open about most times. My favorite part will probably be at the very end, when everybody's giving us a standing ovation and clapping, it's probably the best feeling. Um, filming the ballet is very different because it, performing in front of an audience, you can feel the audience's energy and it helps you dance better. And then filming it, like, if I mess up, we can start over, but I feel like being on the stage is better. For me, the main part about performing is feeding off of the energy from the audience and getting that sort of adrenaline to really keep me going and I can make it through three numbers in a row because I'm super nervous and super excited and filming we really don't have that adrenaline.